friends at Well and Good. My name is Katia Price. I am the CEO and founder of Dance Body. And today, you will be getting your dance-inspired dancer abs without needing any equipment at all, just your body. So the first thing you're gonna do, pull your belly button back to your spine, relax your shoulders, and let's actually use that body to get a great workout here. Opening up those arms, let's press it forward. Engaging those abs, pulling them back. Leaning back into that movement. Same thing, but we're gonna press the arms way back. Squeezing your abs here, just kind of warming up that body, getting ready for movement. Hold it, hips, going to that arm. Side to side, a little bigger. Engaging those sides. Okay, let's stay on the right. Pulling down that elbow to the hip. Roll it down. Four, three, two, other side, and pull. Roll it down for four, three, two, and one. Right here, we're just gonna tuck that pelvis, suctioning back that belly button to the spine, pulling the hips up toward the sternum, warming it up here. Okay, let's let those hips go side to side. Just warming it up, feeling this on the oblique. All right, now that we have the movement, let's build that box. We go front, side, back, side, front, side. Okay, let's beat it up right here. Front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side, rotate. Nice job. Other side, front, side, back. Bending those knees. Feet are far apart here. Now let's speed it up. Front, side, back, side. Starting to feel that warmth in the core. Okay, let's circle it out for four, three, two. Right here, let's pull it down. Squeezing those elbows down towards your hips. Getting nice and warm here. Okay, let's row it back. Oh, getting a workout already. Three, two, one, and hold it here. Same thing, crunching at the center for four, three, two, right here. Let's take it side to side. Elbows coming down toward the hips for four, three, two, one. Let's press it forward. Ooh, nice warm up, you guys. Okay, now that we're nice and warm, let's prep that right leg, hands behind the head. We're gonna squeeze that knee coming straight up here. Exhale. Squeezing that knee up. So you're actually using your abs here to condition yourself. Relax that leg. Don't lift through that leg muscle. You want to lift from the core. Okay, let's go. Knee to the elbow. So if you're using those muscles, you'll feel that right oblique is really starting to warm up. Okay, both arms, suction it down. Think of these as air crunches. Three. Two, okay, right here. Let's go into that rotation. So you wanna kind of target your left elbow to that right knee, getting as much twist as you possibly can for four. Three, two, one. Right here, let's take it side. All the way, drawing down that right oblique. Now, try to leave a little space between that elbow and the leg so that you're really feeling that resistance. Okay, hold it at the top, little pulse. Two, three, okay, let's tap that inner thigh. Getting a little bit of a mix up here. Take it side. Let's bring that left arm down for four. Three, two, nice job, let's take it other side. Exhale, crunching those abs back, bringing that knee up. Just getting nice and warm here, using that full body to crunch inward. Every time I pick up that foot, always pointing my toe. It's the dancer in me. Okay, knee to that elbow. Air crunches forever. These are amazingly effective. Keeping that posture, reach the fingertips. Now, both arms, targeting that elbow down to the knee, feeling that crunch. Yep. Okay, we're ready for our twist right here. Rotate. As much as you can get a twist here, that's really what we want. Nice little different movement. Keep it going for four, three, 
two. Okay, let's take it to the side, targeting that left oblique, feeling it. So I want you to pretend there's a cord above your head, you're kind of pulling it down, and when you do, it elevates that leg. Everything works together here. Let's hold it at the top. Hold, three, two, okay, let's carve it in to that inner thigh. Three, two, again, right here. Four, three, two, one. Connect it in. Okay, now we're gonna go side to side here. Right, then left. So that knee toe is kicking towards the front, engaging both sides, right oblique, left oblique. Last two, last one. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this one. We have a little bit of a Latin vibe going on. That means bend your knees, allow those hips to go side to side, just like how we warm them up. Okay, now pulling that elbow down towards the hip. Let's flip that foot. Hands overhead, take it high, low with that hip. Okay, we're gonna roll it back for four, three, push that chest forward, other side, flip. Twisting that leg, bring that hip up. Okay, a little more intense, bringing that leg up. Arms overhead, here you go. High, low, high, low, high, low. Let's roll it back for four, three, two, good. Right here, and side, and side, good. Now that upper body is gonna start to get a little bit of a rotation there. Go a little deeper, rotate, step it out. Feeling that twist, that's what Latin dance is all about. That twist at the top. Okay, that right hip. Hold those hands together. Let's go for a walk. Roll it around. I know you can do it. Okay, left side right here and push. Three, two. Let's take those abs for a walk. Okay, hands right here. Single, single, double hit. Single, single, double hit. Sink down, bend those knees. Get those hips. Right side, right side, pull it in. Nice job, other side, twist that leg in. Okay, let's step it side, side, and step. There's your twist. Now let's mix it up here. Let's step side and add a little flip. Flip. Maybe a little chest pop, why not? Four, three, and two. Again, that right side, hip twist. Engaging that right oblique, flip it up for four, three, two, give me my quick hips, high, low, high, low, high, low, let's roll it back for four, three, two, okay, hip twist, almost done, flip it up, quick hips right here, high, low, high, low, high, Low, let's roll it back for four, three, two, and one. Nice work, you guys. Okay, for this next part, we're gonna be laying down. So I would highly suggest you grab a mat or a towel, something with a little bit of cushioning. All right, now we're ready for the floor portion of our workout. I'm using our dance body hex mat, but anything you have will do. So let's go ahead, lay it down on our mat. Feet in front of you. Let's start with slowly rolling it down, vertebrae by vertebrae, nice and easy. Take your time, acclimating your spine to the mat. Let's start that right foot stacked up on that left foot. As you start with your traditional crunch here, I want your chin away from your chest, your nose to the ceiling. Every time you crunch up is your exhale, you wanna exhale on the effort, sinking that belly button down. Okay, let's pull that right leg. Inhale, exhale, pressing those arms overhead. I love these moves. These are some of my favorite abs on the mat. They work, that's for sure. Every time we move this leg, we're targeting lower and upper at the same time. Hold it center, little pulses. Hold it here for four, four, three, four, two. Let's tap that foot open. Exhale, take it over. So right here, this is a nice little multitasking move for that inner thigh and low ab at that same time. Go ahead and point that toe. 
Last four, exhale. Three, two, last one. Hold it center and for eight. Seven, little pulses here, tiny focused crunches. All right, let's drop that right leg over the left little crunches here. Slightly different positioning means your body has to work in a slightly different way to get that move. Now we're gonna start lifting that leg as we crunch for four, three, two. Let's do that combination. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. So right, left, left, right. Everything goes on its timing. Nice and focused, quality movement. Last two, last one here. Pull, open it back. Point that toe, get that reach going. Almost there. Pull the center, we're gonna cross it. Elbow to the knee. Now we're really targeting those obliques. You'll start to feel this. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, switch those legs, left on top of right. Push it away from that chest, relax that neck. Here we go. Exhale, take it up. Thinking about the quality of your movement here, you want to feel that spine sinking down into the mat. Okay, let's make that slow crunch, full body. Exhale, inhale, make sure you're pointing that toe. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. It doesn't matter how many movements you do. Better is the quality in which you do them. Last two. Let's hold it here. Little baby pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, four, three, two. Let's cross it over. Inhale, exhale. Making contact that arm to the foot. that inner thigh, which connects right into the low abs, the so abs, the oblique, it's all connected. Hold it at the top, little baby pulses. For four, three, two, let's cross that leg over, exhale. Should be feeling it now. Okay, let's add that little lift on that left leg. Still breathing, exhaling on that effort. Okay, your combination up, up, down, and down. Up, up, down, and down. Four more, for four. Three, two, last one. Pull it straight through, exhale, four. Three, two, hold it center, right and left. Trying to make contact that elbow to the knee. This twist is so important. For four, three, two, one. Now inhale it back, exhale it through. Inhale, exhale. You're actually gonna drop your feet at the very bottom your abs as you pull them up. Exhale. Okay, hold it center. Grab the knees. Inhale. Exhale. Explode those arms around as low as you can take those feet. Go ahead and do it, but keep them pointed. Three, two, one. Hold it tight right here. Elbows to the knees. Tight little crunches, really wearing out that muscle. Lay it to the side, crunch it up. Getting that nice twist in the waist. Now we're totally focused on carving out that right oblique. Knee to the elbow, up, drop. Three, two, let's lift both legs together. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, you're sandwiching your body up. 
leading that elbow toward the knees, finding that connection point. Last two. Last one, right here. Take that leg forward, then extend it back. So the arm is doing the exact opposite of that leg. Stretch, both are bent, both stretch. So you're pulling that right hip way forward to feel this twist in the waist, like you're wringing out a wash rag here, getting all the way around. Hold it here. Last little pulses for four, three, Two and one. Swing that right leg around, making a beautiful transition to our left oblique. Keep it going. For four, three, two, knee towards that elbow. Exhale. Four, three, Two, exhale it together. Exhale. All the way up. Carving out that left oblique. Four, three, two, last one. Let's bring it out. Reach and back. Reach, back. Reaching those fingertips, reaching those toes. Let's point that foot. Almost there. Three, and two, and one. Hold it here, little lifts. Let's finish it strong, pulling that left hip way forward for four, three, two, and one. Let's bend, kick that leg around, hold it at the top, up, down, out, and up, down, feet right over those hips, low abs, last, three, two, last one, right here, hugging those knees into your chest, rolling that spine side to side, inhale that body back, exhale, take that body up. Amazing job, you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to work out with me and Well and Good. If you're looking for more videos like this, just simply subscribe to Well and Good's YouTube channel, or you can follow us on Dance Body. We have a platform named Dance Body Live where we have on demand and live streaming content. So anytime you're ready, we'll love to have you. Have a great day, guys.